Sometimes there's a man. Well, he's the man for his time and place. Gentlemen, ladies, how we doing? Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. And every other uh, religious holiday they could cram into December. <laughs> um, Merry Christmas to me. Uh, I went shopping. I know I just did a video and now I'm like a hypocrite because I said I hadn't gone shopping. I didn't know when I was going to go. But uh, when I got home last night, my grandmother had come by um, with my granddad and had dropped off some Christmas cards that had some uh, money in it. So I decided tonight to uh, squander that money at the vintage stock. So I uh, went to one here in Independence. And I picked up a few things, and one thing I'm a little curious about, and we'll get going here. Um, let's uh, check this out. We, I got four or five things. It's been about $25. They have one thing there that I really want, and I'll kind of talk about it as I'm going around here. Because uh, I need to figure out uh, if I'm going to be able to use it or not. Um, it's kind of a mix, mixed bag here, and some different systems. Um... And uh, we're going to get started here. Uh, the first one that I picked up, I don't know if this is complete. I think it's definitely missing the, um, the foam inside. But it is a uh, Nintendo game, box Nintendo game. And that would be Bases Loaded, the second season. I'm not big on sports games, but it was $3 and it's in the box. Uh, it's definitely missing the, uh, the uh, styrofoam, but I don't know if the instructions are in it or not. Um, they also had a copy of Bases Loaded 4 in the box that they had over in the case. And I'm wondering if Bases Loaded 4 is just more rare or whether it was in the case because it has the instructions and everything. So uh, let's peek in here. It looks like it's just the game and the box. Uh, but the box is in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's just the game and the box, but, you know... I don't ask for much. It, the box is in decent shape. Um, I do like to have the instructions, but, you know, sometimes it's uh, just cool to go ahead and pick up another box game, especially for three bucks. Uh, second season. I think I've got bases, the first bases loaded. Um, looks like I have bases loaded three in the box. And, uh, I don't know, that might be it. I don't think I have got, excuse me, I bet got Um, I don't think I have bases loaded one in the box. But they have four over there for ten bucks. And I'm, uh, I'm debating on going back and getting it. There, there's another game that I really would rather be picking up than bases loaded four. And, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, the next game, um... I picked up when I was looking uh, is a Sega Saturn game. Uh, I've got this game on at least at least one other console, and I considered picking it up for the 3DO, and I haven't yet. But uh, that would be the game uh, missed. I never finished this. I came close on the PlayStation. I, I I played at least over half of it on the PlayStation One. And I still have it for the PlayStation 1. I think I have a walkthrough book on it, too. Um, but, um, like I said, it's it's rare to find Sega Saturn games uh, that aren't sports titles. And this was only $4. And it looks complete. Looks could be deceiving. But, no, it's complete. The book was just folded under a little bit. It's even got the, the foam, security foam. Uh disc and it looks like it's either never been played or they resurfaced it um but uh missed for four bucks it's not uh it's a pretty cool game i i was really intrigued by it when i first got it um but it is one of those games that is visually really great and a lot of puzzle solving so um i was happy to pick it up for the uh for the uh, Sega Saturn that Ryan right now uh, sent me because he's a cool dude. And I'll mention the fact that he sent it uh, till the day I die or quit doing YouTube videos. 
because I just can't believe that some people are so cool that they would just send something like that for uh, for no real reason except to be nice and I think that's awesome um, let's see uh, then I went up to the I, I got one other thing I'm leaving it to last uh, but I was up by the counter I was getting ready to pay they had a bunch of Xbox games up by the counter uh, regular Xbox most of them are sports titles but I kind of leafed through them um, and grabbed a couple that were cheap um, uh, some of my more favorite titles uh, this one I have um, the original for uh, and I decided to pick this up because it's three bucks uh, most of them say blockbuster exclusive on them uh, so I went ahead and picked this one up because it did not say blockbuster exclusive but it is a copy of holiday golf uh, outlaw golf holiday golf uh, most of them say, uh, you know, nine more holes of Xmas or something on them. Uh, but this one did not. Um, I don't know if it's different than the nine holes of Xmas and more nine holes of Xmas. But uh, it's just got a little uh, fold-out little thing. But it does not say Blockbuster on it, so I was kind of surprised about that. Um, I think it's just got two characters on it. I think it's got Harley and... and uh, um, what's his name? Um, Killer Miller. And I think it's just nine holes. Uh, but, you know, for three dollars, I was like, yeah. I, I have Outlaw Golf 1, uh, for the place, uh, for the Xbox, and I have, uh, Outlaw Golf 2, and, uh, tennis and volleyball for the PS2. So, I thought it was pretty cool to go ahead and pick that up. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, okay, the next game I reviewed, uh, the second one of the bunch, um, when I thought about it, uh, I had to remember which one I had, I owned, <laughs> but when I thought about it, I, I remembered, uh, that it was the second one, so I went and picked up the first one, um, it was $5.99, uh, the sticker says $7.99 on it because it was the one beneath the shrink wrap, but I went and picked up Big Mother Truck Eyes, uh, the first one. And it's complete. It's got a little marker writing here, but, you know, it's on the case. I can get that off with a, a magic eraser. Um, so, we got that for six bucks. Um, so, we got six, three, four, six and four is ten, and three is thirteen. Sixteen bucks is what this was here. And then we come to the final baby. Um... This is the one I'm not sure what <laughs> what I was thinking, uh, but at the same time I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Um, it's an import. Uh, it's a PAL import, so I'm not sure if I can play it uh, straight away. Uh, I I did a little looking. I think I uh, need to burn off a boot disc called the Utopia boot disc uh, in order to play this, um, and I think I'm going to do a separate video for it, but. I went and picked up for ten bucks uh, the Dreamcast game Res, and like I said, this is a import uh, PAL version, and um, I don't think I can play it. Like I said, unless I have this boot disc, but I, like I said, I did a little research into it, and I think. that I should be able to play it with the boot disc. Um, it's got the directions, a nice fat direction book. Jesus. 136 page instruction booklet. Um, I love these cases. I mean, it's funny to see the, just the difference in, in stuff from region to region and I'd seen these you know from different people that have Dreamcast the UK guys that I'm subscribed to and stuff um, it is it is broken here so yeah you know how am I gonna find another another actual case for it I'm probably not but um, it was ten bucks and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get it working 
Uh, like I said, I've uh, got the boot disc. Uh, burn, I'm going to burn it off. I'm going to try to actually burn off a couple of ROMs that uh, for some Dreamcast games that I don't have to see if we can use the boot disc. Uh, some of them are self-booting ROMs and some of them aren't. I kind of watched a tutorial, some tutorial type of thing that some guy did on YouTube about it. And it looks like some of them are self-booting and some of them you have to use a boot disc for. Um, the reason why I, I went to this much trouble, I mean, I, I thought it was kind of cool to get res, even if I couldn't play it, but for $10. But why I really went to so much trouble is um, they got a copy of a Japanese import of Shenmue 2 up at the Bennett stock, and they want $60 for it, but it's just complete and it's the Japanese release and I know the Japanese release is completely in Japanese there's no English to it but I know that the PAL release had English subtitles with Japanese um, voiceover so um, I was interested to see if I couldn't find uh, some PAL version um, ROM files that I can I can transfer to see if I can't get them to work I uh, using a boot disk. Um, if I could do that, then I'd be interested in getting the the uh, Japanese release that they have up there and then in stock for sixty bucks. Uh, at least I know that I could start it up and play it. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna sign off. We're gonna do another video to see if we can I get this uh, boot disk thing to work and see if we can't get Res to play. And if we can, uh, possibly I might. Uh, at least look into picking up the uh, PAL uh, version of Shenmue uh, 2, uh, if not going ahead and picking up the Japanese release. Or picking up both eventually, but going ahead and picking up the Japanese release because they have it. And then uh, maybe having uh, some burned off files uh, for now. Because I'm a collector, I want, the, I want the actual piece, I don't want just a bunch of burned off discs. I mean, I, I, I might have to go that route with the Sega Saturn to get some of those games because they're just ridiculously expensive, uh, complete, and uh, I can get a mod chip for about $36 plus shipping, uh, and uh, it's like soldering two wires and just connecting it, and you can pretty much play any burned off <laughs> Sega Saturn game, and I'm still on the fence about it, I've been, and it's because I'm a collector, and that's why I'm on the fence, because I don't just want a bunch of burned off games but you know and I'm not a pirate either I mean I try not to be I try to only download things that I plan on buying or I want to check and see if they're worth buying you know and that's it you know I don't just go crazy and download you know all sorts of junk so anyway signing off thanks for coming by and we'll see you next video which will probably be the uh, res video Thank you.